Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this brush. Let's open a new document and change the fill to none. Next, press the letter L for the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. Switch to the anchor point tool and click on the top and bottom anchor point to create a sharp corner. Select the two center anchor points and bring them down. With the anchor points still selected, press the letter S for the scale tool and then hit enter. Select the non-uniform option and adjust the value if needed. Let's create a copy and move it to the left. Switch to the direct selection tool and bring the bottom anchor point to align with this intersection. Next, select this anchor point and bring it down. Switch to the anchor point tool again. Click on this anchor point, hold and drag. Select this handle and bring it down to create a curve. Next, press the letter O for the Reflect tool and click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Now click on this area, hold and drag. Let's copy the middle part and bring it down. Now scale it down. Rotate it by 180 degrees and bring it up. Next, click in the center and make another ellipse. Using the anchor point tool, click on this anchor point, hold and drag. Now use the bottom handle to create a curve similar to this one. Let's bring this anchor point up and adjust the curves. Select the anchor point on the right and delete it. With the other three anchor points still selected, switch to the Reflect tool, click on the top anchor point to set the reflection point and create a copy. Select everything and then choose the Shape Builder tool. Let's create one shape in the center one on the right side, one on the left side, one on this side, another one here, and the last one on the bottom. Next, select everything, swap the fill and the stroke, go to Object, Path, and select Offset Path. Change the offset to a negative value. The higher the number, the wider gap we will create. Click OK. Now click on the newly created object and move it to the side. If you like, move this object beyond the artboard or delete it. Let's zoom in and delete the unwanted paths. Use the lasso tool to select all paths at once. Next, select these shapes and apply dark yellow. Select the center shape and apply light yellow. Select the bottom side shapes and apply light green. Finally, select the middle part and apply dark green. If you wish, select everything, add a stroke and increase its weight. To create a scatter brush, first select the object, create a copy, click on transform from the top toolbar and be sure the scale strokes and effects is checked. Let's resize it. Open the brushes window and drag this object here. 
select the scatter brush option and then click OK. Next, change the size and the spacing to random. Click away to deselect, select the new brush from the brushes panel, choose the paintbrush tool and create a straight line for example. And of course you can go back to the brushes panel and adjust these settings. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.